If you own a 3D printer or are thinking about getting a 3D printer, one of the great things about having one is you can print out any object that you design yourself. In front of us here are a couple of Mobius action camera cases that I've designed and printed out. You can download this off Thingiverse. This is printed in two parts, a top and a bottom. Uh, the whole reason for me designing or wanting to design one of these is I wanted a case that I could easily uh, take apart without a, without a screw. So there's no screws holding these two halves together around the, around the camera. They simply uh, clip on either side, on this side and on this side. And I've also designed this case for the two common uh, Mobius styles that exist. So we have the original Mobius camera, this is with the Type A lens. And we have the, the newest um, Mobius camera, this is with the Type C2 lens. To take the camera out of the case, simply use your fingernail or a uh, small flat blade screwdriver. Um, in between where the two halves clip, pull back on those clips. That'll allow you to remove the top from the bottom. To install the camera, simply pop it into the bottom half, pop on the top, clip it on one side first, on the other side it snaps together. And the same with the other Mobius camera. And of course, when you design something yourself, you'll be iterating through different designs and different sizes until it's just right. If you're new to 3D design, a great place to start is Tinkercad. This free web-based program allows anyone with no experience to start designing right away. No installation necessary, it runs straight from your browser. There are plenty of tutorials available on the website. You drag 3D shapes into your workspace, move it around and modify its size. Drag multiple shapes into the workspace to create complex objects. Once you're done, save your work and export it as an STL file. Load it into Slicer or Cura to print it out. Another great 3D design tool is DesignSpark Mechanical. Also free, this tool gives you a lot of freedom to design complex parts with a familiar CAD interface. Like other CAD software, you start with a 2D sketch which is then expanded to 3D. You can select any surface on that 3D object to add a new 2D sketch, followed by adding or subtracting from that surface. Once you're done, save your work and export it as an STL file. Load it into Slicer or Cura to print it out. There's plenty of other 3D design tools available, just Google 3D printed design software for many more to choose from. The software that I use is called Cubify Design. It's not free, but I find it quite fast and intuitive to design 3D parts. It also has a nifty assembly feature which allows you to assemble multiple parts to check if everything fits correctly. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.